I get inspiration from the vibe of the look. I don't know how it's gonna look at the end, but I like to create some fun design and go all out. I'm Tina Tazi, and today I am getting celebrity nail art. I'm leveling up today because I think that my entire life has led to this moment. I've been getting my nails done for a very long time and I'm really ready to finally have that like stop you in the street set of nails. I think nail art is probably my favorite form of art. I think my interest in nail art stemmed from loving to physically paint my own nails as a kid. It truly began on my 13th birthday when I was gifted my first ever set of acrylic nails, which was the culmination of um, watching a lot of Dennis the Menace as a kid. And there was this kind of nasty character who antagonized everyone by like tapping her nails across the countertops. And uh, on my 13th birthday, that wish was fulfilled and I've been tapping on countertops ever since. I borderline throw function out the window with my nails as it is. I mean, they would be yay long, just things dangling attached to one another, chains connected. It would be completely out of hand. Hi, my name is Yoko and I'm a nail artist based in LA. What inspired me to get into the nail industry is because I used to love getting my nails done. When I was little, I used to paint my own nails with markers. I felt cute, so it just makes me happy. So I'm certified in Swarovski nail art education. So I like using crystals and also I love using airbrush machine to create different nail designs. I've worked with celebrities such as Miley Cyrus and Issa Rae and also Moschino Fashion Show. I don't know, I was hoping to let you do your thing, whatever you're feeling like inspired by. I was thinking to do maybe galaxy, spacey kind of nails. Okay. With dark background mm -hmm. and sparkles. Yeah, that sounds perfect. Yeah, and if there's any way to do like a fade into that dark, because okay. I want to keep them for as long as possible. So as they grow okay. out, if the top could, you know, be like more see-through and then get darker. Okay. Otherwise, that sounds like a perfect plan. Okay, let's get started. Great. Are you ready? Yes. The only thing I'm a little bit nervous about today is the fact that my natural nails are a bit weak. They're a little bit more sensitive than I'd like for them to be. I start by cleaning her nails with alcohol, pushing her cuticles with a pusher. Then I use a drill machine, getting rid of all the dead skin on the side walls. After that, I am dusting off and cleaning up the nail pits. Now they are ready for gel extensions. I measure each nail to fit the size for gel extensions. I apply pre-primer and primer on her nail beds. Then I prep the nail tips by buffing inside and apply primer on top. Next step will be to apply gel on her nails. Every time I apply a new product, I will have Tina's hand put in a nail lamp. After applying each nail, put the whole hand into the lamp and cure completely. Once they are completely dry, gently file around the cuticle area to make them smooth. Then dust off and clean the surface of nail beds. Then I shape the nails into a coffin shape. Now they are ready for colors. So clean the nails one more time with alcohol. First, I start off with black, then I will apply stencils and airbrush with white gel. Then, after I look at nails, I decide what to add. I will add stars to make it look more dramatic. Then, I will use sparkle stencil on top. I chose a star crystals. Then I will apply small crystals randomly on her nails. I will finalize the look with piercing her pinky nails. I will drill the holes. 
Then I will bend the hoops to pierce the nails. In order for the charms to stay on her nails, I will apply gel around the charms to secure. To finish it off, I will shape them one more time gently. I will polish them and apply moisturizing cuticle oil and hand lotion to finish up her final look. Okay, all done. I absolutely feel like my best self with these nails on. I feel like I should become a hand model now. Please contact my agent for booking inquiries. These pierced rings on my nails are throwing me and I keep thinking they're rhinestones <laughs> falling off the sides of my nails. Working with Tina was really fun. She loves nail art, and I like working with clients who enjoy the nail designs. Yoko was incredible, kind, gentle, just really easy to work with and really fun to talk to. She has such great stories, and I'm envious of all the incredible celebrity hands that she's touched, and now mine live alongside those. Gel eggs are good because they are quick to apply and mostly shaped already. It took two and a half hours to do Tina's nails. It seems like it takes a lot of patience, but I get so lost creating designs that sometimes I don't think of time, but it's totally worth it. I am definitely going to be extra careful with these nails. They are uh, a treasure to me. The trick to keep the nail art is not to do dishes, not to do cleaning, not to open cans. No, I'm just kidding. You can wear gloves when you have to do them, but be gentle. I recommend Tina to use cuticle oils to have the skin moisturized. If any charms falls off, she can use glue to reapply. What I was mostly thinking about while I was sitting with Yoko getting my nails done was, how was it to do Miley's nails? How was it to do Violet Tchotchke's nails? How was it to do Issa Rae's nails? And how am I stacking up with the competition here? I'm happy with Tina's nails. I didn't know what I was gonna do until I got here today. And I was inspired by Galaxy theme. It was really inspiring to watch Yoko's creative process because she sort of just freestyled it. I am moving in two weeks, which I, admittedly these nails may not be prime for lifting boxes, but I'm just gonna have to tip the movers a little extra. Thank you for watching Refinery29. To watch more video, click here. To subscribe, click here.